Now this is a great question because a lot of people probably have no idea how recording works. Most people probably just think when they see a drummer playing on TikTok or YouTube or Instagram and their drums sound amazing, that it's just a great tuning job. But if you were to play drums and use the microphone that's built into your camera, the drums would sound like hell. And you know, I'm sure a lot of people actually do that. But if you want the drums to sound professional, you're gonna have to actually record those drums and then add them to the sound afterwards or do it on the fly like the way I do it. So I'm gonna take you through the whole path of how the signal, the sound, gets from my acoustic drums into my computer and then eventually into my phone. Let's do it. So the starting point is the analog sound coming out of the actual drum. And I say analog, analog just means when you hit something, the organic sound that comes out of it is analog. That analog sound has to be captured and then converted into a digital signal that we could see and manipulate on the computer. So the sound originates from me hitting the drum. It's collected by these microphones. I'm using Sennheisers here on top. I also use some Shure Beta 58s, and here's a Beta 57 under the snare drum. On the bass drum, I also have a Beta 57 on the front, and I have a Beta 52 on the kick. On the overheads, I'm using condenser microphones. These are Octavas. This is a right and a left. This helps me collect the cymbals. That analog signal travels through this cable into the floor, and I have it wired all through my room into the wall here, and it pops out on the other side in this giant mess. Now all these cables feed into this device. We call this an analog to digital converter interface. So basically this is gonna take that analog sound for each microphone and convert it into a digital signal that my computer can see. And I'm using an Apogee Ensemble for my first four microphones. For the next four, I'm combining the Apogee with this army quad mic because the Apogee only has four mic preamps and you need eight. And then I have that daisy chained, which means combined, with this Motu 8 Pre. That gives me another eight microphone inputs to convert from analog to digital. So altogether I have 16 microphones that I can bring into my computer. The converter takes all of those signals into this cable and sends it into my computer. Then I can see it visually on what's called a DAW, a digital audio workstation. This is Logic by Apple and all of those analog signals come up as a little digital blip. Each of these rows represents a different microphone. So you can see I have them labeled kick front, kick, hi-hat, overhead left, overhead right, etc. Now once I have the sound captured digitally, I can mix it, I can master it, I can add EQ, compression, manipulate each sound. So there's a lot of stuff you could do in post-production. And if I'm just recording for somebody, it stops there. But if I want the sound to actually come out in a live video, I have to resend that entire signal from my DAW through this cable directly into my phone. 